Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today, we will be talking about transforming equation of a circle from standard form to general form and from general form to standard form. And lastly, we will determine the center and radius of the given equation of a circle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. Now, let's transform the equation of the circle. Earlier, we have um, transformed a standard form to general form. Now, let's transform a general form to standard form. So, example, x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 10y plus 18 is equal to 0. We should transform this one in this form. So, the first step is write the given. This one. Next, we will use addition property of equality or APE to transfer 18 to the other side or to cancel out 18 or the constant on the left side. So, to cancel out that one, we will use addition property of equality. So, copy everything. And put negative 18. What you have done on the left side should also be done on the right side. So, you can now cancel out positive 18. Next, we will solve for the square of one half the coefficient of x and y. So, Again, we will solve for the square of one half the, the coefficient of x and y. So, the coefficient of our x is negative 6. That is negative 6 times one half. That is equal to negative 3. And negative 3 should be squared negative 3 squared is 9 so 9 should be written here or positive 9 should be written here what is written here should also be written on the right side so that it is balanced next for the um, coefficient of y the coefficient of y is negative 10 negative 10 and 1 half of negative 10 is negative 5 negative 5 squared is 25 so positive 25 will be written here what is written on the left side so should also be written on the right side now let's group the perfect square trinomials so we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 that's one group and we will have another group which is y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to the right side should be combined and that is equal to 16 next Let's factor the perfect square trinomials. So, this perfect square trinomial should be factored out. The factor of x squared is x times x. So, we will just use x next. Copy the middle sign that is minus. And what, what are the factors of 9? That when you add the factors, it will equate to 6. So, factors of 9 are 3 and 3. So, 3 plus 3 is 6. 
So we can write 3 here. And don't forget the exponent 2. Plus, let's factor out this perfect square trinomial also. Factors of y squared is y times y. So we'll just write y and copy the middle term which is negative. Factors of 25 are the following 5 times 5 that is when you add the factors it will equate to the middle term which is 10 so factors of 25 again is 5 and 5 5 plus 5 it is equal to 10 so 5 will be written here and close parenthesis and don't forget the exponent which is 2 16 Factors or the square root of 16 is 4. Or you can factor out 16. You can have 4 squared. And this is now the standard form of this general form. As you can see, they have the same answer or equation. So our process is correct. Lastly, let's solve for the center and radius of the given equation of a circle. So to do this, let's transform the given equation to its standard form. Let's review. The standard form has two forms. The one wherein the center is not found at the origin and the one wherein the center is found at the origin. So if you have this kind of equation, then the center is found at HK. So the radius will be the value that is written here. And if you have this kind of form or equation, then the center is found at 0, 0 or at the origin. And for the radius, it, it is found here. For the examples, number one, find the center and radius of the circle with the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 64. And then draw its graph. So, to know the center, first, look at the equation. The equation is in the form of x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared. So, it means the center is found at the origin. Or the center has the following coordinates of 0, 0. And for the radius, we will just square, uh, get the square root of 64. So, radius is equal to square root of 64. And the answer is 8 units. Now we have the following given center and radius. We're ready to solve or to draw its graph. First, ra uh, draw the radius. So it's 8 units. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, we start counting from the center. The center is located at 0, 0. So it's in this place or at the origin so again let's count eight units one two three four five six seven eight and then let's draw our circle now for the second example determine the center and radius of the circle with a equation x minus 2 squared plus the quantity y minus 4 squared is equal to 25 and draw its graph. So here, let's look for the equation and identify if it's a standard form or the general form of the equation of the circle. So if it's in general form, transform it into standard form. 
this equation is in standard form. So, we can directly get the value of our center and radius. The center at HK, H is found beside X. We have negative 2. So, get the additive inverse of negative 2. The additive inverse of negative 2 is 2. So, it means the opposite of negative 2 is RH. And for the K, that is found beside Y. And the number beside Y is negative 4. The additive inverse of negative 4 is 4. And for the radius, that is square root of the number on the right or the constant, which is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So, we have the following given. Center at 2, 4 and radius is 5 units. Now, we can graph the circle. First, locate the center. It is found at 2, 4. So, the x is 2 while y is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's found here. That's the center. And now, for the ra radius, let's count starting from the center. You can count going up, going to the right, to the left, or down. So, I'll choose upward. That's 5 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can draw the radius. And then, to draw it correctly, you can also uh, draw the radius on the right side, left side, and on the bottom. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's here. And on the left side, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the bottom part, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's connect all the edges of our circle. And now, that's the graph of our example number 2.